Gene and I were like most couples starting out in life with no money and things were tough. It was a struggle. I remember one day driving up to the Thunderbird in my old car. The cook was outside and he said, Charlie, he said, why are you driving that old beat up car? I said, Dick, I'm driving that old beat up car because I can't afford a better car right now. I said, when you see me driving a new car, you know this paid for. And that was our philosophy at that time. And Talk of the Town has been serving Central Florida since 1974. But the Woodsby's history in Florida dates back well beyond that date. In 1960, Charlie Woodsby moved to Jacksonville, Florida and purchased the Thunderbird restaurant with partners William and DC Darden. Two years later, Woodsby and Darden bought Gary's Duck Inn, one of the most famous family restaurants in Orlando. With the success of Gary's Duck Inn, Charlie had a vision for a family-style seafood restaurant offering affordable prices. As a result of this forward thinking, the first Red Lobster was opened in Lakeland, Florida in 1968. It was an immediate success, and within two years, five more Red Lobsters were opened. In 1970, Woodsby and his partners received an offer for a buyout from General Mills that they couldn't refuse. Charlie signed a three-year management contract where he helped develop and open 72 Red Lobster locations. In 1973, at the ripe old age of 43, Charlie retired from the Red Lobster organization. Almost immediately, Charlie, along with his son Ron, opened a restaurant with a focus on steaks called Talk of the Town in Ron's hometown of Lakeland, Florida. Quality, value, and service were the cornerstones for building another Woodsby success, and they did in excess of $1 million in sales the first year. This led to the opening of four more like establishments in other Central Florida locations. My advice to a younger person or a couple starting out is as the Lord blesses you and gives you seed, some of those seeds you will want to sponsor into other people to grow. And uh, that's my advice to you today. In 1984, Charlie and Ron, known for their challenging standards, wanted to change the concept of their restaurants to develop high-end steakhouses. After pondering a long list of possibilities, Ron suggested renaming the restaurants after his father, and Charlie's Steakhouse was created. Today, Talk of the Town Restaurants, under the leadership of Ron Woodsby. I think that uh, the growth of this company has been really based on picking the best people that there are. And from there, taking those people and spending some time really acclimating them to our way of thinking and training them to be Charlie's kind of people. And I had a great mentor and leader and picked up a lot from him for sure. Beyond that, we've tried to focus on where the consumer really wanted us to be versus where we might want to be ourselves. Feeling blessed by their success, Charlie and Ron have been very generous to many local charities. In 2006, Ron's son Clark Woodsby joined the family business after graduating from Furman University and the Culinary Institute of America in New York. We had tremendous success with hosting some events in the past with Special Olympics, namely uh, Jack in the Park at Winter Park uh, and several off-site caterings that we've done. Uh, so we were encouraged by that success and drew upon our knowledge with that to start this Rosemary's Challenge, whereby we invite ambassadors to seek out other folks, their friends, and contribute as a group towards this cause. Uh, and the impact on that has been very successful to the tune of a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, and so if I would encourage someone to participate in this, I would encourage them to go to the website on our foundation link on our website, or if you visit one of our restaurants uh, in Central Florida, reach out to your server, manager, they'd be happy to point you in the right direction. Talk of the Town Restaurants now looks forward to the third generation, carrying on the tradition of excellence and philanthropy in the restaurant industry.